Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have decided to take you guys along with me on my vanity tour. So I thought before I, uh, you know, just jump into my vanity tour, I should just uh, let you know guys a couple of things. So the first thing is, uh, if you guys are expecting a humongous, you know, makeup collection, then my video might disappoint you <laughs> because um, I know uh, the YouTubers have such an amazing you know collection and I also you know lust for that but uh, my collection is not that big to be honest and also I'm just six to seven months old in this YouTube field and uh, this is the time when I started gaining my interest in my you know in the makeup and uh, that is the reason my collection is not huge so I'm telling you if you guys are expecting a huge collection then I might disappoint you guys and if you don't want to be disappointed you can you know you have all the liberty to stop this video right away but if you guys are still interested to know how I organize my makeup how my vanity table looks like and uh, yeah a little bit about every single thing which is there on my vanity from very small details to all the you know the major ones so yeah that's the reason I thought let me just you know uh, do this uh, video for you guys and uh, guys before we get into the tour I request you to please subscribe to my channel and uh, if you guys have not done yet so that you can just click on this red button over there and just subscribe to my channel so that you are aware whenever I'm posting a new video on my channel and also give this video a big 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 thumbs up and uh, also leave your valuable comments and uh, yeah let's just jump into the vanity tour video let's get started let me show you what all I have on the top of my table so that is how the top of the table looks like I mostly have all the random stuff over here and things which I need almost on a daily basis so that I don't have to open the drawer and uh, uh, struggle to find out the product so that is how I keep my top stuff now let me show you a closer look of everything what I have let's begin with this so this is the mirror which I use to do my makeup and uh, yeah it's double sided it has a zoom at one side and one side is like normal so it's perfect for the day to day uh, makeup then I have this beautiful initial of mine I love this one I got it from one of the online website and uh, from where uh, you can also get your initials in case you want to but I'm planning to do some kind of uh, DIY on this one I don't like it plain white so maybe I'm trying to you know add some kind of glitter or some kind of drawing I want to do on this one then at the back I have this mason jar and this is where I keep all my uh, beauty blenders so right now all of them are like really dirty and I really need to give them a good bath but yeah that is how I like to keep it because uh, they are like uh, they are safe in one of the storage box and it's easy to reach out to them so that is how I store my beauty blenders then I have this beautiful card over here which I generally keep on my table because it's very special to me it was given by one of my friends on my birthday and I just love it so ever since uh, I got my table done it, it's place here. Now I have this uh, this beautiful compartment where I keep all I mean it's like four drawer compart uh, storage box so it's like this four kind of storage box I like that it has a plenty of colors and I generally keep very random stuff here I, I keep some tissue paper here then I have a lot of hair accessories here my hair bands and all and again I have a lot of hair bands and everything here so basically so basically I just keep some hair accessories in this particular spray box I'm yet to utilize it properly but that is how I'm using it at present now the next box is this where I keep my wet tissues and I keep some of the cotton, uh, you know, cotton pads here, which are necessary on a daily basis. Then I have this picture of my family. This is my family picture. That's, uh, that's me, the little one. 
yeah that's me and I think I was in maybe uh, fourth or fifth standard I'm not very really sure but yeah that is when we got it clicked and I really like this photograph so that is the reason it is placed on my vanity then I have this beautiful pastel pink uh, round kind of box where I keep every possible thing which I use on a daily basis uh, so let me show you what all I have in this one so I have my soap and glory body butter and since it is in a pump format so it's really easy for me to uh, take out the product then I have my favorite uh, uh, my blueberry perfume which is my current favorite so I keep it here so everything which I'm using on a daily basis I keep it here then I have this Nivea uh, deodorant uh, which I prefer to wear when I'm off the gym then I have this besties uh, dry shampoo here I have my Vichy uh, thermal spray here and, uh, and I have my absolute holy grail l'oreal extraordinary boosting uh, oil facial oil here I have some Ithru here here which I have bought as a token of you know as a gift then I have this beautiful card which was made by my niece on my birthday we both share same birthday and it's very special to me so all the special things which are given to me by my friends or family I just try to keep it here so yeah I, I just love how she made this card it's so pretty and beautiful and it is in some waterfall kind of you know card I don't know what this kids do but yeah since it's very special so I just keep it here it just reminds me how many uh, you know amazing people I have in my life then again I have this kind of table organizer uh, it has uh, four compartments again and in this one I keep some of the random stuff like I have my fit band here then I have this mirror here which I use again for the makeup purpose. I have my uh, brush here and uh, I have my eyelash curler here. I have this uh, nail buffer and I have some tweezers over here. So this is again very random stuff which I keep and at the back as you can see it's a pan stand again very cute smiley face yeah and this is one of the DIY which I have done uh, it's again a mason jar in which I have put some of the light so I like to lit it up and it just brightens up my mood and there is again one more memory which I have so this is um, uh, one of my memory from uh, South Africa when I was living there so this is from Gold Reef City, it's an adventure uh, uh, park and uh, this is where we got it, it was a hell scary roller coaster ride and yeah so I like to keep it here. So yes this is what I have at the top of my table and now let's move on to these compartments which are there. So as you can see I keep all my nail paints here and I have a lot of random brands like um, the so a lot of essence ones, stay quick you one are there then I have this uh, uh, new you one Maybelline color bar Revlon matte and this is like my uh, new favorite it's by Miss Nails it's again very favorite of mine it's something uh, which I found at local drugstore but I absolutely loved it I have applied it once on my nails and stayed on my nails for about a week without chipping off so it's as good as any high-end uh, uh, nail lacquer so this is basically where I keep all my nail paints and after we are done with nail paints then these are a couple of open compartments that I have and one more closed compartment so I'll show you what all I keep so as you can see there is this pink pop and I mostly keep some of the medicines which I need on a daily basis then some Vaseline, some rubber bands and some you know wicks and all these are a very random stuff but something which is very much needed then I have this box this is again by Dmart and I 
again keep very uh, you know the stuff which I use so I have some of the deodorants by Nivea then I have my uh, nail paint removers here and uh, I have this little manicure kit which I have it's by Veta then I have my makeup remover this is Bioderma which I have which is about to be finished then again one of my perfume it's by Marc Jacob it's amazing and then some color bar makeup nail paint remover then my daily uh, you know it's not daily but yeah twice in a week I use this honey mask on my face it's amazing and yeah and this cute hand cream let's move on to this so in this particular container I try to keep the stuff which I have bought recently so that I can use it and review it so as you can see there's some Anastasia liquid lipstick then dose of color is also there then I recently bought this NYX lip cream it's in shade London I'm yet to use it and review it for you guys and this is where I keep my jewelries these days so this is one of the box, the jewelry box I bought. I got it from uh, some fair, yeah it was from Suraj Kun. It, it happens in Faidabad so mostly you'll see my, uh, you know my bling bag blings in this one. So And then again there is one more container here. In this one again I keep a lot of my jewelry here. So yeah it's easy for me to you know to reach out to this stuff otherwise I tend to forget that I have some you know uh, I have some jewelry also now to exercise my dress so so now we have we are left with this particular uh, drawer where I keep all my makeup brushes so I keep all my uh, eye makeup brushes in this particular jar then I have these oval brushes which I bought from Amazon and they are like super amazing then the Via Technique all the face brushes and everything goes here and this brush is by Forever 21 this fan brush it's quite nice very smooth it's it's a good purchase and yeah that is how I store all my makeup brushes and this is my um, health and glow makeup sponge which I have not used yet but yeah that is how I keep them then this is one of the drawer where I keep most of my face and eye makeup and I have this beautiful uh, you know a container in which I like to keep all my uh, eyeliners so, so in this one I like to keep all my uh, mascara and uh, uh, this is like Makeup Forever eyeliner. Mostly my eyeliners are there. There are a lot of uh, color bar one are there. Then I have this cream eyeshadow from Premel. Then this is my uh, Bourjois uh, eyeliner. Then yeah, lots and my eyebrow pencil by Maybelline is also there. So that is how I like to keep my eyeliners because it's easy to uh, you know um, find out the product. Then again I have one more uh, this kind of same kind of container in which I keep my mascara. Uh, this is my ST Lauder uh, Kajal then this is my eyebrow pencil and lots and lots of you know eyeliners are again uh, kept in this one. Then as you can see there is one more uh, the same kind of you know uh, container I have and in this one I keep all my lip liners. So uh, let me show you. Like, uh, these are the next ones. Then I have this Makeup Forever eyeliner, uh, lip pencil. Then my next one is there. And uh, yeah, what else? Then this is my Essence one, absolute favorite. Again, next ones. Then I have this uh, Smashbox uh, lip gloss, which I generally don't use much. Then my Absolute Milan, uh, my, fav uh, my favorite. So yeah, all my uh, lip liners are there. And in this box, I keep all my uh, foundation uh, compact. So uh, this is the Sephora one I have. Then uh, the Inglot one is there. Um, Mac is there. And I have this Elf High Definition HD powder. My Elf 
eye brocket my uh, maybelline um, compact so yeah that is there kept it here then i have this blush blusher box where i keep all my blushes this one is by uh, forever uh, makeup revolution this is my absolute favorite uh, makeup brush which i always use to keep it here then um, i have this elf bronzing kit my w7 and uh, this is the the nars one and a lot of uh, Borjua and my absolute favorite Sephora one so yeah all the blushes I keep it here and I also keep this brush which I generally use to apply my blusher so that it's very uh, you know easy to uh, not to look out for the blusher brush and then just uh, apply it now as you can see in this particular box I keep all my uh, eyeshadow palettes so this is the this is Makeup Academy one, then I have I have this LA color one and uh, this is the Makeup Revolution one which I have recently used in my uh, previous video then a few more LA color, then again Makeup Revolution then I have then I have these LA palette and yeah some uh, cream eyeshadows by make uh, maybe lean ones plus I have this kind of box where I keep all my uh, plus I have this kind of uh, box where I keep all my sample products like these are mostly the benefit ones and I have these uh, smash box one and uh, I have these uh, Penitent. yeah so like that uh, I try to keep all the sample products in this particular one so that it's easier to find out if they are small in size other than that then I have a couple of more palettes here like this uh, BH cosmetic contour palette is there then I have this elf palette is there then uh, my BH cosmetic lip palette is there so that finishes my first drawer now let me take you to this particular drawer where actually I keep most of my uh, lipsticks as you can see so most of my lipsticks and my lip products are kept here and let me take, show you how I store it so as you can see I mostly keep my uh, lipstick in these kind of small white containers and it's easier for me I uh, I keep changing how I categorize my lipstick so these days I'm categorize, uh, categorizing it on the basis of the colors so uh, in this particular one I have all my pink ones in this one I have all my nudes in this one I have all my uh, dark lipsticks and in this one I generally try to keep some of the uh, blushes and something or the lip products which I don't use on a regular basis or uh, I hardly reach out to so as you can see I have a lot of Revlon ones there are a lot of wet and wild ones are there these are illegals these are wet and wild ones then uh, all the pink MAC lipsticks are here Lacme and l'oreal so yeah absolutely like uh, the mix of all possible brands and obviously my essence one are also there so all the pink ones i keep it here in this particular one i keep all my nudes so this mac fox it's my absolute favorite then i have these color bars and this is boot number seven and uh, this is l'oreal again and uh, this is all flame and lacme then again a lot of Maybelline's are actually all the nude colors are here and some streetwear also and in this particular one all the dark lipsticks are there like this Rimmel Catmose and this uh, Lady Danger by MAC and uh, I have some NARS lipsticks also here then again some Wet n Wild then I have my NYX Indie which is my favorite some faces and yeah and that is how this is again by Rimmel so all the dark lipsticks are kept here 
now move on to the next one so as you can see in this particular one i just keep all my liquid lipstick so and by now you guys must be aware that i'm very much in love with liquid lipstick so all my liquid lipsticks are here so these are the essence shampoo maybelline hope girl color pop and nyx sephora so all the lip creams are the color bar ones these are amazing the color bar ones they are actually just as good as the uh, you know uh, the high end ones and this is the faces lip cream then i have some uh match me also these are good they are hardcore uh, matte finish but they are little uncomfortable on my lips uh, but if you uh, love hardcore matte lipsticks then these are a good option for you and uh, in this particular box i keep all my lip crayons all the jumbo lipsticks so it's easier to find out so as you can see i have color bar maybelli then again revlon lots of revlon and uh, this is by um inglot yeah so that is how i like to keep my jumbo lipstick then in this particular box i keep all my lip balm so i have some birds bees there maybelline is there yeah and this is the um elf uh, lip lips exfoliator is there it's pretty good and very decent and does an amazing job so yeah that is how i keep my lips straight then in in this particular box i keep some of the lip colors which i don't use on daily basis so this is the lip pot by color bar this is again my favorite this is by the face shop then this is the hd blush by elf then these are my um, second love cream stick blushes then this is a rimmel one then i have these uh, uh, lip paints by la they are not that good they are very uh, you know slippery but i tend to mix it to make the dark colors as small then i have these makeup academy uh, eye shadows so i don't use these products on daily basis but yeah i like to use it at times now as you can see here is another this kind of plastic box where i keep my sharpeners my back to mac uh, my my mac uh, boxes so that i can you know uh, return it for back to mac policy and yeah that is how i just keep this stuff then in this particular one i mostly have my skin care uh, sample size so i have lot of toners here i have these pack eye shadows my eos balm i have these again a sample of um burberry uh, perfume then my blotting papers yeah so this kind of stuff i keep and then again in this one i keep again some skin care so i have this acne dressing here then i have the sheet mask by etude house so yeah some skin care stuff goes here but majorly uh, this particular drawer is for my lipsticks